Run up a minute to hop out the car with a bird. They hit my life for the work. This I need on top of these niggas like great. Give on a rock. Yo, what's up guys it is josh back with another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you in under five minutes how you can edit your very own fortnite montage in davinci resolve quickly before the video starts if you guys are new to the channel and you want to drop the sub it is completely free for you guys to do you can change your mind at a later date i hope you guys enjoy the video and also make sure to do all the downloads that are going to be in the description i'm going to have a lot of presets down there that are going to be required for this video if you guys want to follow along with the tutorial so make sure to go do that no plugins are going to be required and i hope you guys enjoy all right guys so once you're in a brand new project what you're going to want to do is just make sure you have the right settings so for me it's going to be 1920 by 1080. from there what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate your song to download your song just use the link that i'll have in the description to download any song for me i'm going to be using a song called him by j wall i've literally used it in so many of my tutorials just make sure you just drag and drop it into your timeline from there you can just drag your clips into your media pool so you can just do this and highlight them and drag it into your media pool all right so since i'm making a tutorial i cut down the song to the part that i like it has an intro segment and also has enough for two clips inside of it all right from there what we're going to want to do is we're going to lay out our markers so we're going to put our markers on the beat so that's going to be the first one we're going to put a second one on this beat and then this part right here is going to be our intro going into the first clip which is going to be the shot on here and then we're going to also have one there and then that will be the end of our tutorial so what i'm quickly going to do is i'm going to show you how to do your intro and then i'm going to show you how to do impact so once we have our desired cinematic, what we're going to want to do is go into your effects library on the side. You're going to drag in a fusion composition and size it down to the length of your cinematic. From there, you're going to go into the fusion tab on the fusion composition, locate the preset for the text. Once you find the preset for the text, you're just going to drag it into the fusion right here, connect it to the media out and drag in your displacement map. By the way, the displacement map can be found inside of the Google Drive that I'll have linked in the description if you guys want to check that out. Make sure to connect the media in of the displacement map to the displace and run just like that, you have an edit edible text node once you have all the text in what you're going to want to do is you're going to come down here to the right on inside of the text effects and you're going to keyframe the beginning keyframe it like that you're going to go 20 frames forward and you're going to keyframe this right here then you're going to go to the very end keyframe it on this side go 20 frames back keyframe it right there what we've done now is just created a little write on effect to our text looks super cool and what you can do is you can also just mess around with the size of the text that kind of stuff now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to sync our clips so we're just going to drag in our random clips right here we're going to size it down all right so once we have our clip with the adjusted length we're just going to drag it out on either side until it is lined up with the numbers of our damage lined up with the marker that we set on the beat what we've done is synced it now i'm going to quickly show you how to time remap it so to do this we're going to right click on this unlink the clips right click again go into read time controls add a speed point on the kill itself by clicking on this black triangle pressing add speed point coming back a few frames adding another speed point then we're going to go directly between the two speed points add another speed point change the first one to 50 change the second one to 200 percent and change the last one to 50 percent now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this portion backwards so by dragging this we're just going to go like that and then we're also going to bring that a few frames after the kill what we're going to do now for the second clip is we're going to add the same exact exact thing on this beat all right so we've time remapped both clips we can see that we got a little slow-mo going on both of them now all that's left to do is to add the impacts and the effects on both of them so to do that we're going to add an adjustment clip over top of this right here and what we're going to want to do is go inside of this adjustment clip in the fusion tab we're going to locate our impacts from the previous video that i've made but i also have them in the google drive as well if you guys want to check that out and we're just going to connect the uh, actual effect to this and then follow along to the keyframing steps I'm about to show. For the first camera shake on this one, all we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe the overall strength right here on the kill at one we're going to go 10 frames to the right once we're 10 frames to the right we're going to keyframe the overall strength at zero just so it's a little y shake for the second shake we're going to keyframe the overall strength right here at the beginning to its default amount and then we're going to come to the end and drag it down to zero for the transform we're going to keyframe the size at the very beginning to 1.1 we're going to go to the very end and keyframe it at one lastly for the glow all we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the brightness at its default amount right here and then we're going to come down to the very end and keyframe the brightness to zero for the second clip i'm going to show you a different effect all we're going to do again is drag an adjustment clip size it down to this go into the fusion for it drag in our second impact and connect it on either side once it's connected all we're going to do is we're going to do the same exact keyframe we're going to keyframe the first shake one on the kill go 10 frames to the right and we're going to keyframe the overall strength at zero we're going to go to the second shake and keyframe the overall strength at the very beginning like this go to the very end and drag it down to zero transform is the exact same 1.1 and one at the very end and lastly for flicker what we're going to want to do we're going to come into settings right here keyframe the blend at the very beginning at one and we're going to go to the very end and keyframe it at zero for transitioning between the clips we're just going to add in a default cross dissolve we're going to make it short so it's super smooth and super clean and just like that you've made your own fortnite montage if this video helped you make sure to drop a like subscribe comment turn on all notifications to the channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads and we'll see you guys later